Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday, and on Thursday we wear scrubs because it's our anatomy lab day, or at least for my group it is. Today we have four hours of lecture from 9 to 1 p.m. And then afterwards we have this thing called the house hangout, which is basically sort of like houses in Harry Potter where it's like this group of, I don't know how many students, 20 to 30 students maybe. We have an advisory dean and some M2s or second year medical students who are our peer advisors. So basically bring your own lunch and um, it's like a hangout thing. After that, I have anatomy lab from two to five. Sometimes it takes like an extra hour just to dissect everything and learn everything. But um, today it's gonna be anterior thigh. So the anterior thigh, I think it'll be like a lot of fascia to remove. Hopefully it will uh, be a fun lab. I think it will be because it's kind of like basically the same as the arm, but just like translated onto the leg. But it's like still pretty complicated. Right now I'm actually gonna go into the vet a little bit early just to film a study with me. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to find an aesthetic place. There, like the vet is very pretty, but usually there's like a lot of people studying in there and you kind of don't want to disturb them with filming. So see if there's any private space that I can do that and then go to lecture. After studying, it was time for our first molecular mechanisms class of the day. You can think of it as one three hour long class with a couple of breaks sprinkled in, but it's more like three one hour lectures, sometimes led by our course director and sometimes led by guest speakers. In med school, you know, some people are lecture goers, some people are watch later at 2x speeders, but I really do enjoy going to lecture in person because it means that I get to see all my friends. It might be too early to see if my preferences will change, but so far I really do like the camaraderie that going to class in person brings. And here is a peek into anatomy lecture, so this was from 12 to 1. We started off block one with the pectoral region and the upper limb region, and now we're moving on to the lower limbs. Hey guys, I'm back in my room now. We just finished with four hours of lecture. It's good because I usually attend lecture because I feel like if I don't, then it'll take more time to try to catch up and watch things on 2x feed and also take notes and review than it would if I just went to lecture in the first place. Now I'm just heating up the food. You might hear the microwave in the background for house hangout. I think our M2s are, they seem super smart, super organized. I know it's like this outward, this like perception. You always feel like everyone else is so organized and everything, but yeah, I'm excited to get to know them and also to learn from them. And yeah, basically just like hear how they survived their first year of medical school. As I was heading up to the hangout room, the security guard stopped me and gave me a piece of candy. That was so nice of her. And hangout was really fun. It was really super chill and informal actually. And we just had lunch, had some snacks, and played okay, guys, board so games. So we just finished our house hangout. It is time for anatomy lab. Today we're gonna be skinning the entire leg. No, it's thigh, thigh. It's not called a leg. There's a lot of specificity with how anatomical structures are named, so the leg and the thigh are considered different. But um, anatomy lab went really well. I think we did end up staying an extra hour just to look at everything and also review the previous two labs because those were done by different groups. And the professors in the lab are super nice. They're always so willing to stay late to help us. So I really do appreciate that. And so I'm going to jump back to this morning where I explain what is going to happen next. So there's actually an APAMSA meetup. APAMSA is the Asian Pacific American Medical Student Association. There's like this big sip, little sip hangout. Um, basically, we're trying to find like mentors in APAMSA who would be best for us. Honestly, I'm just like really excited to meet the upperclassmen because I love our M1 class and we've like had chances to hang out, but we hadn't really, or I guess like for me personally, I think other people might have, but like formally gotten to know M2s. Um, I do know a couple, but like it's exciting to be able to meet a bunch of them at once. <laughs> so, yep. Hey guys, I just got out of anatomy lab. I am, uh, that was like four hours of anatomy lab right there. And I showed up to the APAMSA thing in my scrubs. I hope I still get a big, it's like a big little search. I hope I still get a big, even though I smell like formaldehyde. 
I, I hope they will forgive me. I think they know what's going on, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. There's a bunch of people and we're basically just gonna like do like a speed dating thing, but for bigs. So yeah, I've never really done anything like this before, but I am really excited. I don't know why. I feel like I'm Big little match success. Just kidding, we don't even know who we're matched with. But this was fun. Any um, preferred bigs? I like all of them. All of, honestly, all of them are really nice. Yeah. yeah. After a speed matching event, there was actually a mid-autumn festival event hosted by a PAMSA again. It was literally right across the hall and it was super nice because it was almost the mid-autumn festival, also known as the moon festival. And we had lantern decorating, we had snacks and interesting like powdered taro boba. And it was really nice just to have this community to relax with and hang out with. On Fridays, we usually have a team-based learning activity in the morning and then our data science class right after, and then we don't really have classes after that. So Fridays are more chill day. So I feel like for most of us, Thursday nights are sort of our start to being able to unwind. Good job, Shaylin. This is actually really good handwriting. Yeah, Zhong Tio in the mid-autumn. Honestly, this event was super fun. I stayed after as well to just work on some homework and studying because I do think that building good habits early on is really important. So slow and steady, a little bit of studying each day and hopefully that'll help prepare us for our exams and for knowing what we need to know as future doctors. I also stayed in the room a little longer to, um, I don't know, just do some work, try to finish some work up. And there were some M4s there. They're actually currently working on their ERAS application, which is the residency application, which is like light years away. I don't know, I don't wanna think about it now. But they were like being really helpful to each other, which was really nice to see. Uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna go back and you know, take a shower. I really gotta get out of these. Anatomy love clothes, I probably should have changed before, but it's okay. Um, yeah, and that was a day in the life. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. As always, thank you guys so much for staying until the end. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, comment any questions or suggestions that you have, and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. At the time of posting this video, I've just finished my first week of exams at med school. So block one is over, we still have blocks two and three for the semester. And if you're curious, I'm currently drawing the brachial plexus just to have something for you guys to look at while I do this outro voiceover. And because I finished exams a couple of days before they were actually due, I have a little bit of time, so hopefully I can edit and film more for you guys to see. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again and bye.